Hey, what's up, guys? I figure I'd give you one more demo uh, just to show you how beautiful HDR looks when you finally unlock the 1500 nits or if you have a 2000 nit peak brightness LED backlit TV. The trick is to turn off power saving mode. When you have a power saving mode on, what it does, it tones down the usage of the LEDs in the back. And remember, the idea for the HDR is to squeeze as much of that peak brightness for the HDR. That's how the HDR high dynamic range works. It works on the peak brightness alone. Now, this is something that even I forgot about. You know, even I was wondering, like, why is it I have this bright TV, but I'm not seeing it? I should be seeing something brighter. I mean, this is a 1500 nit TV. And then I realized that the trick is that I had my power saving mode on and the ambient uh, you know, mode on, all of these other filters that just reduces the usage of power. And the best way to do that is to turn it off. And if you haven't seen my previous video, I highly suggest that you watch my previous video. I explain everything on that video on how to squeeze that peak brightness. Remember, just go to your settings, as I showed you earlier, go to your settings, go to the uh, general, and go to the eco solution. Turn everything off. Turn everything off. Your ambient light, your power saving mode, and your power auto power off. Turn everything off. And then the next step, obviously, is uh, you going to your settings. On the picture and have your backlit and contrast set to maximum and that's that now there is a slider there is a peak brightness slider on this uh, on this game which you can use I left it at 1.3 which is right over here you go to the settings and then you go to uh, go to the visuals and you click to the peak brightness I left it at 1.3 and 1.3 is just more than enough so I left at 1.3. And uh, now, why do you need peak brightness on the HDR? Do you know why? So that way, the distance between your white digital levels and your black digital levels will have a higher contrast between those two. That way, it brings more three-dimensional picture. It brings more depth of picture. So you can see the definition of the clouds. So you can see the definition of the uh, dead hanger over here. Okay, that's what dynamic range does. It gives dynamic in range. Why do you think they call it dynamic? And why do you think they call it range? The range between dynamic of your picture, between your black digital levels and your white digital levels. But you got to have that peak brightness turn to maximum. And the only way you can squeeze that peak brightness is obviously through your... Uh, Power saving mode, you got to turn it off. Do the same thing on your TCL, guys. Do the same thing on the TCL. Squeeze that uh, 900 nits peak of brightness. Squeeze as much of that peak brightness from your TV, okay? Now, on the OLED, I don't recommend it on the OLED because I don't want you to have a burn-in, okay? On the OLED, I don't want you to do that because I don't want you to have the potential burn-in or potential retention. So, on the OLED, you got to use it on the OLED, uh, the power saving mode, okay? But on your LEDs, use it, brother. Use it. However, it will squeeze uh, power from your electricity. And your, electrici uh, your electrical bill might be a little bit higher than usual. But hey, you know, I would only recommend this if you truly want to enjoy what your, uh, what, what your TV truly can, can bring you with the HDR. And trust me, what you're seeing here, it's nothing in comparison to how it looks when you uh, actually see this with your own two eyes. When you see this with your own two eyes, you're truly going to appreciate this. Okay, so well anyway, there you have it, just a short little video. I, I felt like uh, I needed to just give you a little more of a demo. And uh, it just looks better in every retrospect. Even the Death Stranding looks better when you when you turn that sucker off, when you turn the uh, power saving mode. Everything brings a dynamic picture to it. Same thing with Red Dead Redemption. Uh, any game will look better 
when you do this, okay? It's just gonna look much, much, much better, okay? So, uh, well, there you have it. I hope this video was um, informative, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, there you have it, you know? I'm just trying to help you guys out. That's all it is, man. That's what I do here. You know, I'm not saying that you should always have the power saving mode off, but you should do this for a certain game or for a certain movie. You know, if you truly want to, hey, like, you know what, man, I want to experience this game to its full potential with the HDR. Uh, well, this is the only way you can do that. Okay? I mean, I'm not saying that you're not going to experience HDR with the power mode turned on, but listen, it's still going to reduce the peak brightness lumens light that's coming out of the LEDs. It's still going to reduce it. It has to reduce it in order for you to save the, the electricity bill. Okay? So, well, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope this uh, gives you a little, little insight look on... Trust me, you got to see this in person. Go ahead. You don't have to take my word for it. What I would suggest is go ahead and do this for yourself. Turn that power mode off, uh, that saving power mode off. Turn everything off on the power saving mode. And you're going to see just how, how much you're going to squeeze of that peak brightness, man. It's going to blast. It's going to blast into your eyes. And the HDR is going to soak it right in. And you're going to have that nice dynamic height, dynamic range picture. Okay? Well, there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Cheers.